Hi guys, welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Susie. And I'm Clark. And today we're so excited to share our recipe for our local beer bread. Let's get started. Clark, we've already been to Ingalls, picked up everything we needed, but for this recipe, you don't need that much stuff. No. It's so easy and so delicious. This is a crowd favorite and it's only four ingredients. It's really super simple to make, but everybody always loves it when we bring it to a party. We've got some Laura Lynn self-rising flour in our batter bowl. Okay. Gonna add a little bit of granulated sugar to that. And we got a little bit of melted butter, right. unsalted butter. That's Laura Lynn unsalted butter that we melted real quick in the microwave. And what makes local beer bread beer bread? You got to have a beer. <laughs> so Ingalls is great. If you've never looked in their beer selection, you really ought to. They carry a lot of craft beers and beers from all over the world. But we're using a local to us beer that's brewed right here in Cleveland, Georgia. It is a Mexican style lager which we're gonna put it in here at room temperature. All right, go ahead and pour that in. Let Susie be working on that. And I'll tell you a little bit about the beer style. Um, like I said, we're using a lager today. I don't wanna use a real hop forward beer because hops are bitter and they add a lot of flavor to the beer. So this is kind of a neutral style beer. This is not where you wanna use that sour beer, or that goes beer, mm -hmm. this is not the place for it. Drink that on the side. That's right. But stouts and things like that, I don't like to use in this recipe because it kind of takes over the flavor profile. But if you wanted to change things up, you could always use a hard cider or a hard seltzer to use it. It's just providing a liquid for the batter. Yeah, there's a lot of great uh, hard ciders out now that I've seen that are made right in North Carolina. That's one of the things that I really love about Ingalls. Throughout the store, if you start in the produce department, the floral department, heck, like even our Unicoi Preserves, you can find that in the Ingalls Deli. And it's all local producers. Ingalls supports local all through the store and the community. Now, Susie, I noticed you're using a spatula today instead of a whisk. Why is that? Very <laughs> observant, Clark, because this is a quick batter bread. It's like when you make pancakes or muffins. You don't want to aerate it too much or stir it too much or else it's going to get rubbery and tough. So I've just mixed it together. You might still see some lumps. That's okay, they're gonna disappear with the magic of that beer. I'm gonna let you pour that in there because you're a lot neater than I am. You have a better chance of hitting the target. So we've already preheated the oven. And if you're looking for the exact recipe, if you go to angles-markets.com, you can print out the recipe, a shopping list. You can even call it up when you're shopping at the store. Clark, that looks great. Get so get all that in. batter in there, because that's like a whole slice still left in the bowl. <laughs> don't want anybody to be sad. <laughs> so it's that easy. And if you don't have a bread pan, you can also pick one of those up at Ingles. I picked this up when we did our shopping last night. So I gave it a little tap. You know why? To get any big air bubbles out. You're good. You I've, are a good apprentice baker. <laughs> I've been listening when you talk to me. This is some more melted butter we're going to pour over the top. This is just gonna help promote browning on the top crust while it bakes. And you can kind of let it pull around a little bit. All right, that looks fantastic, Clark. That's ready for the oven. All right, this is gonna go on the center rack. Why do we put it on the center rack? So That's good. where the most even heat is in your oven, is in that middle rack. That's the sweet spot anytime you're baking. So we'll be right back to show you what it looks like. So we just pulled our beer bread out of the oven and we've got it cooling on a rack. Yeah, it needs to cool in the pan for five minutes and then you want to turn it out and let it completely cool on a cooling rack. That way uh, it lets the crust stay nice and crisp. So we've got one that we did a little bit earlier. Look at how beautiful, golden brown and delicious that is. We've sliced it up and what are we serving it with today, Clark? Well, bread loves cheese and jelly. So we have some wonderful uh, vanilla infused cheddar that we picked up in the specialty cheese section at our local Ingalls as well as some of our Unicoi Preserves strawberry vanilla spread. So this is a great way to serve it. You can also pair it with other things. It goes great with soups and things like that. So um, I think we should have a piece. Okay. How would you fix it well, if you were if fixing it? Well, if it were it? me, I would put a big piece of cheese on it. Okay. And of course, my childhood favorite. Strawberry, strawberry vanilla. It is so nice with that Madagascar vanilla infused cheese from the deli. Ingalls has all the best cheeses. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Make sure and explore the rest of the site for more tips, tricks, and recipes. 
We'll see you next time. Cheers.